Hello everybody, welcome to Psychology 120, Introduction to Psychology. My name is Richard Beck and I'm going to be your professor this semester. Before we go through the syllabus, there's a choice that you have to make and how you like to go through the course. You're going to have a choice between a hybrid online discussion format or a traditional seminar face-to-face -face conversation. Now for those of you that choose the hybrid format, we're only going to be meeting once a week. <laughs> Sounds like good news, however, you're going to be involved in online conversations with me and your classmates throughout the week, okay? Those of you that are going to take this face-to-face -face seminar, you'll meet with me in the second class of the week, and we'll have face-to-face -face conversation. Okay, so before we do that, what I need for you to do is take out your iPhones and indicate your choice of preference. Would you like to take the hybrid format or the more traditional format? So you go ahead and do that now, if you'd like to. Okay. Um, it looks like about half of you have chosen the hybrid format, and so what you can do is check iTunes U and also the online forum for you to uh, begin your online conversations. The rest of you I'll see later on this week. Now, for those in the hybrid format, you will see on your iPhone now the revised syllabus if you've chosen the hybrid format. Those that using the traditional format, you have the syllabus already. Now. Well, what we should do is meet later on this week, um, but we're going to do this at my house. So if you check your iPhones, click on your address book, you'll find a map to my house, and we'll have that conversation there for the seminar format. The rest of you, I'll be seeing you online. And let's have literature people in this corner over here. History people over here. So we hope you've had a chance to look at some of the class materials uh, at the iTunes U site. Hope you've had a chance to look over that first chapter. We're going to be talking about modernism uh, this semester and thinking about how it works, some of the ways that it rebels from some of the idealism of the 19th century. So maybe you've run across modernism before, maybe in the literature of Eliot or Pound, maybe with some of the artists, a lot of really important artistic movements there at the beginning of the 20th century. Um, like Cubism, for example. Does anyone know about Cubism? Can you tell us anything about it? Great, yeah. There was a Cubist exhibit at the Kimball Museum in Fort Worth. Let me see if I can bring it up on the exhibition guide. Oh, that'd be great. Why don't you send it to our website, to our class website. And let's, if anyone else has links too, let's send them to the class website. And then after class, um, you guys can look at that stuff and, and it can use it as you study for the course. Great. As you're finishing that up, we want to get a sense of what you know about the modern period. So a survey will be coming to your iPhones. Go ahead and start answering that. You don't have to use complete sentences. Short answers are fine. All right, with some really interesting stuff starting to show up on our uh, word cloud up here. That's something we're going to be using a lot this semester. So the things that more people talk about get bigger, as you can see up here. And um, so a lot of you, for example, have put up um, Picasso. His name is really giant up there. That's excellent. Um, I noticed only a couple of you have mentioned some of the, the smaller artists or artists that are maybe less well known, like Duchamp is up there and Brock. Who put that up there? Let's see. That's uh, Amanda, right? Um, well, I think it's really interesting how he could take. Well, hello, stranger. I've been worried about you. You had a thunderstorm warning today. I hope you didn't get too soaked. No. My iPhone warned me about it early this morning as I was getting dressed, so no big deal. How's that phone working out? Was it hard to set up? I know how nervous you were about it. Oh, it's great, Mom. I'm already beginning to wonder how I lived without it. I mean, we used it in all kinds of ways in my classes. It's always helping out with little bits of information. And best of all, I hardly have to think about it. It just works. It's like it knows what I need even before I do. Um, hey. Do you want to meet me on iChat? Sure, yeah. I'll see you there. Okay, I want to just try it out. Hi! Hey, isn't this cool? I love my iPhone. 
I get to use it to interview some Habitat people here. I've got an art teacher in my individualism and identity class, and he uses it for everything. I get to use it in my hybrid psychology class, and it's flexible so I can work around my job and I can paint when I want to. And everybody walks around with no backpacks because all our information's on our iPhones. That's great, honey. You've had a busy first two days. No wonder you haven't called. I love it here. I'm, I've got a great roommate. I've been making some really good friends. I mean, since I've been here, I feel so connected. If I took off the hinge to the front door, the air would come in and blow all your papers around. And we go. It is only in your 